All right, uh, Race uh, Coach talked about you being uh, bringing a lift with your energy and your effort. How mindful have you been of that in terms of coming into games off the bench and kind of trying to bring that on a game in game out basis? Uh, I'm pretty much just trying to do anything to help the team win the game. Uh, that's something I've always done throughout my whole life. So just trying to have fun with that. Uh, it's not all about scoring, not all about the highlights and stuff. But you got got to do the little things to help the team win the game. All right, this is for other of you guys. Coach kind of talked about the effort and practice has been high, but uh, he's trying to stress more the attention to detail. Um, how have you guys started to kind of address that after the uh, first two games of the season? Go ahead, Joe. Um, I think the, with the start of the year, it's obviously like a learning process because we're trying to see like which, what we need to get better at. You know, When you get out there, it's obviously a lot different than practice. It's a lot different than open gym from the summer. Um, and, you know, I just want to take that, take that day by day and see what we want to get better at after the game. And, you know, kind of build on it. You know, hopefully, look like a different team. You know, in a month. Yeah. Rich, your play has been obviously noticed by a lot of people, especially after what you had to go through last year. You look like you're having a lot of fun on the court, as much in addition to playing well. That's got to be a good. Thing. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, finally, able to uh, be on the court with my teammates, uh, feeling good, being healthy. So, I mean, yeah, just being excited out there. It's a lot of fun. Joe, when you look at this team, you've been around for a while, what makes it potentially an NCAA tournament team? Or what's, what's really strong about their personality thing? Um, I think we have a have a depth to our team. Um, I think that would make it, you know, maybe kind of hard to hard to game plan because the week there's so many different guys that um, have the potential to, you know, to, to hurt you and, and uh, have, a, have a big, you know, um, effect on the game. So I think that's definitely something that's going to, you know, play to our advantage. I mean, it's a long, college basketball is a long, it's a long season. Um, you know, the, the deeper we are, the, the, the better we are, the stronger we are, so. I guess, as far as you guys, Coach mentioned that Troy is able to shoot the three ball from all five spots on the court. Uh, as big man, how do you try and work on closing out better, and what are the challenges that come when a team can't shoot, you know, the three ball from the positions that you guys currently have to cover? Um, I mean, we've been, we've been, we, we, you know, we drilled it, drilled it yesterday in practice, and um, I'm sure it'll be a, be a point of emphasis today, and, you know, just making sure we're aware of um, where they're out on the floor, and you don't want to get too, too spread out, um, and, you know, we want to stay, stay solid on our principles, um, regardless of, of who we're playing and, and how they play. Coach talked a lot about the different lineups you guys have put together. I mean, in practice, do you guys go through that a ton of diff playing with different players that maybe you haven't played so much with in the past or even in these first couple games? Yeah, we switch it up about every week. Uh, so pigs will switch up teams, guards will switch up teams. So you pretty much play with everybody uh, week to week. So it's always different every week. So yeah, we work with it uh, every week, all the time. Jeremy, yeah, coaches talked a lot about obviously needing to improve the defense. When you go back and look at the film, what kind of jumps out to you that you guys need to do defensively? And is it more physical or is it more just like communication type things that you guys need to do? Um, I mean, I think a lot of it comes down there's just you know like little little details um, that, that just kind of need to be need to be worked out. Um, you know whether that's our positioning or um, you know with, with with the ball screen or you know making sure we're you know in the right the right spots for for our help. And um, I think as the year goes, it's something that's going to continue to improve. You get more reps at it, and, um, you know week to week. If you think that's five, you know you get five five or six more practices, and, uh, you're going to get better. And you, and multiply that by, by a month and make that, make that jump as, as time goes, just with reps. Let's get the microphone over there. Race, uh, Coach has described you a few times as a banger. Uh, your physical mindset, where does that come from? Has that always been kind of innate throughout your high school or college career? How do you describe it? Uh, I'm not afraid of contact. I've never been afraid of contact. Uh, I mean, I grew up playing football. My dad played football, so I mean, it's kind of my blood. So I mean, just physical mindset. I don't mind it. I like doing it. Uh, some people don't like it, and it can change the way the game goes. So I just try to mix it up a little bit. What position? My dad. For me. What position in football do you play? I play wide receiver and quarterback. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Do you know what his dad?